Imagine you're taking a long trip in Egypt's western desert in your 4x4, hoping to find the ancient lost city of Ichaoui, but suddenly your powerful truck breaks down. You're stuck in the middle of the desert with very little water and the satellite phone just won't work, but luckily you have a detailed map and you know where you are, so you begin walking. After 24 hours, thirst, heat and endless dunes begin to make you delusional. You get desperate because you know you still have a hundred kilometers to get to civilization. But just then, something strange appears on the horizon. It's an oasis that stretches as far as the eye can see. You look at your five-year-old map and it shows that desert lies ahead, so you dismiss it as an illusion and keep walking. However, as you approach the oasis, you realize that it's real. So you begin running like a madman and find yourself standing in a colossal farm the size of a small country. Welcome to Egypt's New Delta. Egypt plans to regreen its desert. Egypt is going to construct the world's longest artificial river through the desert. The Egyptian government planning to convert this vast area of the Egyptian desert into green agricultural lands that achieve food sufficiency and security for Egypt. a mega project in Egypt's western desert that is massive, comprehensive and includes an artificial river, hundreds of kilometers of new roads, thousands of acres of new farmland, industrial facilities, the world's largest wastewater treatment plant, two power stations and even residential areas. Hello explorers, I am Mr Thinker and in today's video I will answer all your questions about Egypt's multi-billion dollar new delta project that's already transforming parts of the most dry, arid deserts in the world into a green, lush oasis. Let's first tackle the issue of why Egypt is turning the desert into farmland and building a 172 km long artificial river, even though they have the Nile River and endless fertile land on and near its banks. The answer is simple. Egypt has a huge problem. Its population is projected to hit 115 million people by the end of 2024, desertification is plaguing the country and destroying farms, water demand is skyrocketing, and there simply is not enough. And the farming sector needs to expand, but there is not enough water to direct to new farms without compromising quantities available for drinking. According to the United Nations, Egypt has one of the worst water deficits in Africa and could run out of usable water by 2025. One of the main reasons Egypt's water shortage problems are getting worse has to do with the fact that Ethiopia just built the Renaissance Dam, choking the Blue Nile River and reducing the flow to Sudan and, to a much greater extent, Egypt. Interestingly, Ethiopia did not build this dam due to water shortages. They built it to generate electricity. Mind you, this massive dam is such a serious threat to Egypt's water security that it could lead to war between the two countries any minute. The dam is also potentially dangerous because there were issues while it was being constructed, which means if a section of it collapses, large swaths of Sudan and Egypt would drown. To mitigate the effects of such a potential catastrophe, Egypt has designed the new delta in a way to absorb as much flood water as possible in case of sudden flooding, even though the new delta will not be watered from the Nile River. Another reason Egypt is building the new delta has to do with climate change. Egypt is suffering from climate change and increased desertification. In fact, a good portion of the area where the new delta is being built used to be green with way more water resources and rain merely 50 years ago. There is also the food security issue. Egypt used to be an exporter of wheat. However, in the past decade, it became an importer. In fact, it's the biggest importer of wheat in the world. Even though as much as 25% of the country is farmable, merely 5% is used for farming due to the lack of water and high stress on the already declining levels of the Nile River. Egypt also imports 100% of its needs of lentils, 80% of beans and 32% of sugar. These figures show the underlying catastrophe, because in reality Egypt should be exporting all of these commodities which is why the new Delta project is being built at a very fast pace. And there's also the economic factors. Egypt's agricultural sector is perhaps the most important pillar in the Egyptian economy since it contributes to the country's gross domestic product by 14%, representing 28% of job opportunities and 55% of employment in the countryside. Nearly 40% of Egyptians rely on agriculture, livestock farming and foodstuff industries as their main source of income. So if the new delta is not built, half of these people can lose their source of income and enter extreme poverty. 
This is why Egypt is building the new delta, while avoiding the utilization of the Nile River for irrigation as part of the project. Egyptians are quite smart and are thinking ahead. So instead of using the Nile River water, they are building the world's largest wastewater treatment plant called the Al-Haman plant in the new delta. This plant is connected to the old delta and other cities such as 6th of October. Wastewater from these locations will be recycled and purified at this plant. We're talking about as much as 8 million cubic meters of water per day. Of course, this means lots of electricity is needed. Hence, two gas-fired power plants are also being constructed in the new delta. This got me thinking, why wouldn't they just build a water desalination plant on the Mediterranean Sea and get over with it? Well, as I said earlier, Egyptians are quite smart. So they decided that it's better for the environment to treat and recycle wastewater. Additionally, large capacity water desalination plants cost way too much money to build and operate. Hence, it's a win-win situation with the El Hamam plant, which will feed the new 170 km long artificial river in the new delta. This artificial river is expected to provide approximately 10 million cubic meters of water per day to bring the desert back to life. The project also includes more than 500 kilometers of roads, some residential areas, foodstuff factories, and you name it. Think of it as a massive 6,000 square kilometer farm that will eventually expand to 12,000 kilometers and turn a good chunk of the desert into a beautiful, green, sustainable economic hub that can feed tens of millions. Let's now take a look at some of the project elements in more detail. The project was introduced in 2006, so it's not exactly new. However, several major delays hit the project due to political turmoil. And finally, in 2017, it came back online, and since then, nearly 50% of the main project blocks have been completed. But since then, the Ethiopian dam caused such huge new problems, construction is gaining momentum every day, and it should be completed by 2028. The artificial river, which is also called Al Hamam River, consists of a 148 kilometers long open canal that is lined with concrete, 22 kilometers of underground pipelines with a diameter of up to 3 meters, 15 lift stations because some areas are higher than others, 39 bridges for cars and pedestrians, and artificial ground level reservoirs. As for the Al Hamam multipurpose wastewater plant, it is the largest triple treatment plant for wastewater in the world. It consists of three treatment units, each of which produces 2.5 million cubic meters of treated water per day. However, since the new delta needs about 10 million cubic meters of water per day, water from underground reservoirs will be pumped to compensate for any shortages. Luckily, the area sits on top of a colossal underground reservoir that is more than two kilometers deep but feeds other shallower reservoirs that are anywhere between 400 and 900 meters deep with various thicknesses. This means millions of cubic meters of fresh water can be accessed daily as needs dictate, and this can prevent shortages during droughts or issues at the wastewater plant. Several factories for the production of foodstuffs are also under construction along with two power stations. It's expected that as many as 5 million people will move into the vicinity of the new delta. Mind you, a massive $29 billion nuclear power plant is also being built north of the area, near the Mediterranean Sea, which is another mega Egyptian project aiming to fulfill electricity demand and export. I'm not sure how much this project will cost, but it's estimated to be around $5 to $5.5 billion, mainly because labor costs in Egypt are much lower than in many other parts of the world. The only problem Egypt is facing with this project, among other crucial mega projects, is shortage of money and aid. Thank you for watching and please do like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.